Morning guys, happy Monday morning motivation. Well, this is a wet and cold day here in Texas. And as I'm thinking about the wet and the cold and how it gets on to me as soon as I go out into it, I'm also thinking about my niece and her first birthday yesterday. See, she was gifted with one of those uh, miniature cakes that she was able to just dive right into. And boy, she got really into it. She got it all over herself and all over the high chair and really all over me too. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. But just like the rain, which we could choose to be upset about because it's uncomfortable, or we could be excited about because it's preparing the soil for something new and it's washing away the old. In the same way, we could be either upset at the baby for making a mess or thrilled that she's enjoying her gift. Today, I wanna to talk about the perspectives of what's put in front of you. Today, I wanna to remind you that God has given you the opportunity to choose life or death, bitterness or joy. And in Psalms 45, it says that he has given us the oil of joy when we choose what is right instead of what is wrong. If we choose to love what is right, and what is right is what is pleasing to God, and what is wrong is anything that grieves the Holy Spirit. And when we choose what is right, what pleases God, what welcomes in his presence, what causes him to, to loose the goodness of heaven, <laughs> then he knows that since you've made that choice, to align your, your choices, your decisions, with what is right according to him. Then he can trust you with the oil of joy. See, the oil of joy, the anointing of joy, is a gift. The word also says, the joy of the Lord, the joy that the Lord gives us, is our strength. You can be strengthened by that. A strengthened person is enabled to do more things. A strengthened person is entrusted with more things. A strengthened person can help more people. But a weakened person, somebody who has chosen what grieves the Holy Spirit, somebody who has chosen to be bitter, somebody who has chosen to find the cloudy side of life instead of the sunny side of life, they're weakened. They're generally just weak. A weak person is somebody who is a victim, who is easily impressioned, who is easily upset, who is easily shifted with the waves of this and that happening, but a strong person, somebody who has gotten that oil of joy and used it to be the strength, used it to, to take that joy of the Lord to be their strength. Well, that is somebody who is strong enough to help somebody else. So today I implore you, look on the sunny side, always on the sunny side, find the silver lining. Find something to be thankful for in every circumstance. Think on these things, whatever is right, whatever is holy, whatever is lovely, whatever is just. Dwell on those things. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength and enable you to strengthen and help and uplift those who need it. All right, I love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.